Hello everybody, Gray still plays, and we're here with a new season of RimWorld. Now this is the Alpha 15 version, this just got officially released, and there is a ton of new updates in this version. And it's to the point where, unfortunately, my last season has to end because going into Alpha 15 completely broke the last season. Now you can play in the old version if you want to, you can go into the selections and go to beta and you can select on the old version 14, but we were basically done. All we needed was that AI core and our entire colony was pretty much set up exactly how we wanted it. So I wanted to try something brand new and I want to use alpha 15. There is a ton of new things in this, including a ton of fixes, a bunch of balances, uh, drugs are in this, which we are going to be taking advantage of. And I want to try something new and exciting. So we are doing a pure evil run. Every single one of these characters I randomly generated until they got the psychopath trait and then I'm using whatever they got with it a few of these folks are incapable of some things some of them are friends with each other but other than that they're all very capable colonists and I'm pretty happy with it so in the pure evil version I also as usual did a randomly generated map so we ended up going into the desert here this is new and exciting the last time we ended up with the temperate forest map and things were really easy because of that. Um, you know, we had plenty of soil. We had plenty of food. We had plenty of everything. I'm going to start just kind of undoing all this so that we can pick all this crap up. I started off with five colonists. And the reason why is because we are going to be probably low on colonists for this entire playthrough. Um, and that's just because I'm going to start equipping some of these rifles and there have you. And that's just because we're only going to be using psychopaths or people that can deal with the stuff we're going to be doing in this place. Um, and what I mean by that is we are going to be butchering people. We are going to be selling people into slavery. We're going to be taking body parts. Uh, we are going to be basically doing every horrible thing you can imagine. We're going to be doing that. Now... Looking at this map real quick, let's take a real quick gander at what we're dealing with here. This is a mountainous desert area, but we're going to do something different. We are not going to build into the side of a mountain. Uh, we might build flush with a mountain, and I might dig into a mountain to get resources, but we're not going to build our base into a mountain. I want a completely open base, and just from looking at this, I can already tell... Where we want to put our base is probably right in this area. And the reason why is because as we expand and as we learn new researches, I want to get these geothermic uh, generators online. And there's two of them really close here. What I'm going to be doing for the base is I think I'm going to go with a standard square design. Um, I'm going to do hallway pockets inside and then I'm going to do death funnels on all sides. Probably not on this side because this is totally mountainous. So this is actually very good. So we're only going to need death pockets on three sides. Just in case people come from down here, come from over here, come up here. So that's not too bad. Already, I want to clear all this out, so we're probably going to be mining all of that. Let's get everyone set up appropriately. We're going to go turn manual priorities on. We want everyone at firefighting onto one. Now, if you don't know how to play this game, I don't, I don't pretend to be the best at it, but I'm going to set everything up so that you can kind of get some ideas of what I like to do. Let's take a look here at who our doctor is. I do believe it's going to be Juliet. And I'm pretty sure no one else really has any skill. Well, Iris does kind of, and she's somewhat passionate. Ooh, actually, Jung and Julia are both very good medics. That is fantastic. Let's put both of those onto one for that. Bed rest, we want it one so that everyone goes to uh, get themselves healed. Even if it's not, even if it's not life-threatening, we want this at top level because I want my people in the best possible condition. I'm gonna put flick all at one, just so that when we get power on, everyone turns the power on and off. For wardening, I need to look at my skills more here. What do we have? What are we dealing with? We do have some decent social skills with Juliet, and she she is interested in it. Lumi, decent social skills, kind of interested in it. No social skills there. Okay, so either Lumi or Juliet are going to be our wardens. We'll make both of them wardens right now. Let's see here, Lumi, 
You can be a Warden Juliet. You can be a Warden Jung. There's no reason for that. Jung is okay at it, but the problem is I don't think he has an interest in it. No, he has no interest in it. For, so from there, uh, animal handling. Eh, let's see. I think we have quite a few people that are decent, or at least one person that's decent with animals. Oh, wow. Iris is like the animal master. Chimp is also interested in dealing with animals. Um, and then, wow, we actually have quite a few people that are very good at animal, at animal tending. Both Juliet and Iris. So, we'll go ahead and put them at top level. Um, Juliet, Iris. Uh, we'll put Chimp there too, just because I do want to get his skill up. And then, let's take a look at our cooks real fast. Uh, cooking, okay, you're terrible. Uh, Chimp is okay, he has an interest in it, terrible at cooking, terrible at cooking, and very good at cooking. So Jung and Chimp, both very decent cooks, one of them can make lavish meals right off the bat, they have a 10 in cooking, we got pretty lucky with that. Jung and Chimp, you are now our cooks. And for a hunting, I don't do normal hunting, I only do recruitment hunting, so we're not gonna worry about that at all. Constructs, this is for just, uh like buildings and things. We want everyone at top priority for this because we want to get crap built right away. We want all that there. Repairing, we want it top priority for everyone. I always want everything repaired super fast. Uh, growing. We have very limited soil here in the desert. You can see we've got uh, some decent soil here. Fertilization's 100. Um, let's see. We got a little bit of soil over here. We got some soil over here, some soil over here. So this is going to be our main growing area, and we don't have a lot. <laughs> We're probably going to have to consider hydroponics at some point, at least for our medicine and stuff. Um, so let's take a look at everyone here for the growing. I think we have someone with a green thumb as well. Uh, yeah, he does have a green thumb. He doesn't have any skill in it, but we're going to want him at least planting stuff because that'll get him uh, trait bonuses. Let's see. Terrible at growing... Wow, we are, okay, our, uh, we don't really have anyone that is particularly amazing at growing at all. Oh, boy. Uh, all right, so, Chimp is going to be one of our growers just because he has a three in it, and who is the highest grower beyond that? Oh, God. Um, now this is terrible. I didn't, uh, I wouldn't have thought about this. Okay, Iris has a passion at growing, so we'll use her as well. So, Chimp and Iris are going to be our growers, not showers. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh. Chimp and Iris. Uh, for mining, we will have everyone mining for the most part, I think, because we need to get stuff mined out really fast. And mining is pretty low priority, so I'm not too worried about it. Plant cutting, we want this at top priority so that we can get rid of trees and the like. And then smithing, tailoring, artwork. We're going to worry about that later. Uh, hauling and cleaning. We definitely want that at top priority for at least a few people. Um, who has the lowest the lowest other priorities? Looks like probably Lumi is going to be one of those individuals. And uh, I guess we'll put like... Juliet has a lot of things that she's going to be doing, so we're going to put her at just a 2 in it for now. And we will put... We will put Chimp at a 2 for now as well. Okay, and then our researcher... I hope I hope to God we have someone that can research. Uh, Jung... Okay, so Jung is going to be our main researcher as well. So we will put him at a 1 for when that time comes. Okay, so we have everything set up pretty much how I like it. We can start, we're gonna end up like digging all this out. We need to get rid of this entire chunk over here. So real quick, let's get started mining. Let's go ahead and get rid of all this crap. I want I want all of this gone right now. Um, do we have any additional weapons just kind of laying around? Oh, we have a pistol. So let's undo that. And who is not carrying a weapon that knows how to fire a gun in any way possible? Chimp, you have one. How about you? Do you have you have no skill at all? Uh, and then Jung, I guess like he kind of has skill. I guess we'll get him this pistol just to have the pistol. We've got a couple of critters up here. Might be utilizing them for food. Uh, there we go. And he's gonna be digging at the limestone. It is six in the morning. 
So we do have a little bit of time. Now we've got a couple of people that have that have crypto sleep as well. So we're gonna have to deal with that. Probably start digging into this right around until I don't know, maybe maybe like one o'clock. Right around 13 hours. Oh, we've got some steel, I think, just laying around over here. That is really good. Uh, in fact, while they're digging away, let's just kind of look for anything else we have. We have a lot of stone all over the place. So one of, ooh, even more steel over here. That is fantastic. Um, and then more steel over here as well. That's very good. We've got a couple of lizards just kind of wandering about. And more packaged survival meals. So we're going to want to grab those. How long do they last for? I I played the tribalist version last time, so I never had I never had these meals. Um so I never even had to consider them that much. Now, there are a few good things over here. We do have some compacted machinery, which is really really nice. <laughs> um like really nice. There we go. Yeah, go ahead and grab a couple of those meals right there. Uh all right. So we're at about 2 o'clock now. Let's see if we can start building some things. Let's go ahead and grab a production. We're going to want a... Where is my... Let's see what we got here. We're going to want a... A um, workbench right away. So, what can we build this out of? Uh, yeah, we'll just build this out of wood for right now. And we're going to put this... We're going to put this right over here for right now, I think. I think we're going to start here. And we're going to build outward from here, and that'll eventually get us to that geothermic generator to our right, and that geothermic generator to the south. And I think there's even one more way down here. I mean, I don't know, I don't know if, we're gonna, if our colony is going to get that big. but And then we can mine all this out. So let's put this right about... Let's put that right there. Um, and then let's grab our best constructor. I don't know who that is. Crafting... Um, okay, so we don't really have anyone that's great at crafting. Chimp is okay at it, so we'll get him to start making everything. We should have a little bit of wood just kind of laying around too. Yeah, there we go. We want this going right away though, and the reason why is because we want to start working on the uh, stone cutting real fast. So let's go over here to research and stone cutting. We probably want like right away so we can start getting the um stone to make stuff what else we got here that could be important oh this is brand new by the way this is passive coolers uh it allows you to basically like not have to use an air conditioning unit but the temperature outside really isn't that bad right now taking a look here devil strand uh, we're not gonna need that for right now pemmican we may or may i don't think we're gonna need it i think we'll have a refrigerator built by then and we are going to want to do probably uh, micro electrical basics because right away ooh, there's that drug production we're gonna want that to make drugs and we are going to want to get the high-tech workbench as soon as possible look at this go juice this is so cool there's a bunch of new stuff here I love that so much it's very cool where is the geothermic generator because I'm gonna want that like real fast Oh god, geothermic generator, don't you hide from me, you bastard. Where are you? There it is! Geothermic generator. Okay, so we need the high-tech research bench for that, and I'm pretty sure that in order to get that, we need the microelectric. Microelectronics basics, and maybe one or two other things as well. So, that's fine. Um, let us start on the research, though, like, like pronto. Go back over here. Uh, who's our researcher? Jung is the researcher. So for that reason, we are going to put you on a two for mining. Because that's what we're going to do. And we're going to put you on a two for hauling because we want you, like, basically researching right away. So, Jung, get your ass over there. Excellent. Yes. And we may build two research benches. I don't know. I don't think we're going to need to do that quite yet. But um, let's see here. How's the research going? Okay, it's going okay. Struck compacted machinery. That's excellent. Do we have any kind of trees around? We've got some cactuses. So in the, in the immediate start here, we're going to begin making everything out of wood, I guess. And I hate... I'm not a big fan of making stuff out of wood because, well, 
that's pretty much how you end up getting everything burned to the ground. Uh, let's go back over here. We're going to bring... What do we want to do? Let's bring the mining down to two real quick so that everyone does the plant cutting. There we go. Because I want everyone cutting down these trees. We are going into the night here pretty quickly. All right, guys. You might be sleeping on the ground here to begin with. Um, well, maybe not. Let's see if we can grab a quick... See if we can grab a quick... Um, a quick building. Uh, we're just going to make something real simple right now. Make this. This. There we go. This is this is all that we're going to want right now. Put a little door on it made of wood. Uh, right about here. There we go. Let's see if we can get everyone building this. And I don't know. Maybe we'll get some, maybe we'll get some beds built too. Uh, let's go over to furniture. Some beds. Uh, we are pretty much out of wood, like, right away. We can do one, uh, two, three. Oh, crap. I don't really care where these are put right now, because we're going to be moving this stuff all over the pr place really, really fast. Yes, keep building the room. All right, well, everyone's sleeping outside. That's fine, though. Um, in the beginning, this kind of stuff happens anyway. You know, everyone, if you go to needs, everyone has very low expectations, and they have the, uh, the, the optimism regardless. You can see how many things, though, you get negative for, like, sleeping outside on the ground and all that. Look at this. Sleeping on the ground, negative four. Outside, negative four. In the cold, negative four. Ugly environment. Feeling terrible. Everyone's hungry. <laughs> but them's the breaks. We're waking up here in a little bit, though. And we'll probably have to build them a way to get a little bit of joy. Um, billiards tables are always good, but we don't really have any cloth. We can do a horseshoe pin. We can probably do a horseshoe pin out of steel. Uh, yeah, we could. Not enough stored. All right. So right away, let's start taking down more trees and making a stockpile area. For a stockpile area, I think I'm just going to make it like down here for right now. I'm not really worried about it. Let's go over to our zones. Do a real quick stockpile area, like, right down here for right now. There we go. And, uh, we'll pretty much store everything for right now. What do we got here? Uh, yeah, let's do chunks and stuff, too. Put kind of everything there for right now. And let's take down some more trees, because we're going to need them. We'll harvest all this. Harvest all these trees here. Oh, these trees aren't big enough. There we go. Chop the wood. Chop the wood. Chop those down. I think there's another tree over here. We want that down. We want all these trees down to get as much wood as humanly possible. Keep working on the research bench. Uh, Jung as well. Well, actually, let's... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, start finishing up on that building there. Then continue on the research. Hopefully, we can get somewhere fairly quickly. Everyone's starting to move everything over. That's good. Got all this silver kind of sitting over there as well. Minor break risk for chimp. Oh, that's cool. It kind of like points it out now. It's the biggest problem here. Uh, he's eating without a table. He's got... He's missing a body part. He's sleeping outside in the cold. Um, all right. Well, let's see if we can get you guys a table. Oh, let's see here. We should get a short table. Again, we're going to be moving all this around. Uh, we need a lot more wood, though. Put a little table kind of right over here. Get some stools or chairs down there as well. Just some really crappy chairs. Uh, there we go. A couple of chairs there. And then we'll put one there. There we are. So let's go find us some more wood because we're going to need as much as we can get. We got some more cacti over there. Okay, that's not bad. Um, let's go back over here to chopping wood. Get all these down. Get all these down. Get that down as well. Yeah, get those. Get those freaking trees. I don't have time for this BS. All that over there. Continue making the walls. Excellent. All right. So everything's sped up pretty good. Um, I think things are doing okay. Oh, a roof collapsed. Well, yeah, no kidding. I mean, we don't even have a building yet. Give me a damn break. How's this going? For the research. Uh, research 134 out of 300. Okay, so we're getting there. Do we have any more trees that we can take down? This place is... This place is, like, killing me for trees, man. 
Oh, desert. How how important it is. Oh, there's some like random survival meals over here. Look at this crap. Um Huh. Go ahead and haul that. That out of here. That's awesome. Yeah, put all those survival meals up in there. Well, any kind of survival meal is just missing. Uh, can we finish this stuff up? Eh, sort of. We've got one bed so far. We almost have a building built. Um, I almost want to keep everyone... What do we got going on here? Oh, you know what? Chimp. Yeah, keep building, keep building those walls, man. We got one bed. Don't have any more materials. Uh, let's see. Oh, man. More trees. Yep, more trees over here. Chop these trees down. This tree over here. This tree over here. Sorry, guys. I know everyone gets to sleep outside again tonight. Shouldn't be too bad though. Like I said in the beginning here, that's kind of the way it goes. Two days, two days out in the out in the rain. <laughs> and man, it is really, really raining. What a pain in the ass. Um, I'm probably going to have to think about. Let's go over to our zone areas. We'll start doing some. Ooh, chuck a spacecraft. Where? Where'd that go at? Um, let's see if we can find this real fast. Chunk of spacecraft. Landed nearby. Oh, my old eyes. They do deceive me. Oh, wow. Oh, well, oh, geez. There is all kinds of ship chunks over here. That's what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, let's just deconstruct all of that. We're going to want all that. And we got another ship chunk kind of laying over here. Um, so that's pretty damn good as well. And... Okay, so that's pretty much it for right now. Yeah, start... Start getting all that crap. Maybe it'll get us something good. Deconstruct. A lot of times you'll get, like, um, components and stuff from this, I think. Let's check here. Yeah, need defenses. I know. We'll be, we'll be doing that in just a minute. Yeah, we got a couple components. Got some steel. That's pretty sweet. More steel over here, too. Quite a bit of steel, quite honestly. In fact, we have so much steel that... I may go and just like complete this out of steel, these walls here. I hate using steel for wall, um, walls for steel. Let's see, how are you doing? Uh, yeah, you're still pretty, yeah, you're fine. Minor break risk for old chimp over there. Well, chimp, you know what? Sometimes you just got a freaking deal, man. You know, what can you do? Go ahead and eat your meal. And then, uh, go ahead and grab all these components, man. Yeah, grab all those delicious components. Want all that stuff coming back to the group. Excellent. And what do we got? What do we got tree-wise? Do we have any more trees over here that we can work on? A roof has collapsed. I'm not worried about that at all. Uh, let's see. Chop the old wood. Got some more trees over there. We're just gonna kind of do all this. I know, I know everyone will be wandering all over the damn map, but, uh, alright, so now Iris is super pissed off too, what is your problem, you're stressed, because you're totally joy deprived, um, alright, so here's what we're gonna do, let's go over to restrict, we want them to start their day with three hours of joy, I found that this works pretty good, you can do three hours of joy, and what you can do is you can take one of their sleep hours off. And I think that should be okay. Let's build something here so that people can get some joy going on. Uh, we don't have any cloth yet. We can do a horseshoe pin. So, I guess we'll kind of just like, we'll kind of just like put one out here. Actually, we'll put like two out here. There, we'll get that going on. And if I can get everyone inside here, that's going to help a lot. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Playing horseshoes. Yeah, everyone play some damn horseshoes. Yes. Look at them all. Look at them all having fun playing horseshoes. That's going to be really important. Because if we go back over here to the needs, you're going to see now that uh, they're going to start... Yeah, see how their mood is jumping up right now? That's pretty damn helpful. 
So one of the things that I was going to do before everything else got out of the way is we need a growing zone. Um, and we're going to start... Let's see, how do we want to do this? We're going to start right about here. Let's see, how far can I bring this down? Bring that right to about there. And for this, we are going to want... Can we make strawberries at all? Eh, we kind of can't. We're going to want corn for right now then. The reason that I want corn is because corn is something you can eat raw and it won't it won't piss anyone off um, by eating it raw. So that's pretty good. Uh, let's see here. What are we doing? We have low food. We got 22 packaged meals right now. So, okay. We do have our indoor area finally done, which is awesome. Have a couple of visitors. Um, oh, they can trade. So, uh, we'll, we'll check this out real quick. Let's see, who is our best person when it comes to talking to people? Let's see, social skills, terrible. No social skill, terrible social skill. Okay, so Juliet is one of the best. Let's see what they got. Got some simple meals, but it costs a bajillion dollars. They have some components, which, man, components are always really good. <laughs> Frag grenades. Trader's not willing to trade. Trader's not willing to trade. Um, usually, I like to buy all the components I can. Like, all the time. Because components are something that just, like, we always need. Like, I always find myself uh, in need of this kind of stuff. We need more materials. Let's see. We need more materials. I definitely want to get these freaking beds done if I can. Uh, ooh, there's more steel just laying down over here. Oh, there's steel everywhere on this freaking place. Um, we're almost done. We are almost done with the, the stone cutting. So I may go ahead and just let this, let this happen. Jung, you're probably going to be doing this throughout the night, as a matter of fact. Um, in fact, I'm going to force you to do this throughout the night unless you finish up on it in just a second here. Come on, Jung. You got it, baby. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. Oh, come on. Oh, I, I thought I could make him do it. It's a long-term task. All right. That's fine. Um, what else can I do here? I could make sleeping spots. But at this point, I mean, it's going to be daytime in just a minute anyway. I'm not too worried about it. Like I said, for the first little bit, sleeping outdoors is not terrible. We definitely want to start getting our our little plant set up, though. So let's go over to work. Um, and then we want our growing at top priority here. Iris, okay. Um, construct, cooking. So they should be growing pretty soon once they wake up. Especially because I think we're almost done kind of mining all this crap out. Oh, looks like you'll be here for a while. Iris thinks that you should give this community a name. Absolutely. Psychotopia. <laughs> That's what we've got. So, nothing too crazy yet going on, obviously. That's just because we just started, though. Definitely, definitely needed those horseshoes there, though. Come on, Jung, wake your ass up. Wake your ass up. Get something to eat and start researching, man. Oh, well, first, I guess you got to play some horseshoes, and that's fine. Let's kind of watch here as the uh, horseshoes help a little bit. There we go. Joy filled. That's exactly what you want. You can see the joy meter going way up there. And tons of joy. Three hours gets you tons of joy. Sweet. Stone cutting is done. Let's go straight toward uh, microelectric basics. We're going to want that. Architect, production. We are going to want a stone cutter's table right away. So let's put this over here. Um, actually, you know what? Hold on. We have a ton of steel. So can we make this all out of steel? Yes, we can. Let's do that. And who's our crafter? We want this freaking done ASAP. Uh, let's see. I think, I think Jung actually is one of our best crafters, come to think of it. No, he's terrible. Um, do we have anyone that's any good? Oh, Chimp. Chimp is a crafter 
who has a, a large passion in crafting. So that's fine. Go ahead and start working on that BS, man. Get all that steel in there. Yes. Excellent. Nice. All right. Cool. So let's get a bill going. We're going to want make stone blocks. We're going to want this going on forever. Um, let's see here. We want this uh, to infinity forever. There we go. And granite, marble. Yep, we want all that going. Okay, sweet. So all that's fine. Now we just need to make sure that we have someone doing this at all times. So let's go over to our characters real quick. Um, this is kind of like a, you know what I mean? It's kind of like something that almost anyone can do. And I don't remember off the top of my head who this goes up to. I think we're going to have Jung doing this at all times. So let's go over here. Um, or not Jung, Chimp rather. Going to put him there. And I think that that does that. Let's go over here and just make sure. Crafting, stone, drugs, cut stone. All right, that's exactly what we want. So, chimp, um, go ahead and start stone cutting, man. We need all the stone. Do it forever. And let Iris kind of plant everything. How's our little guys going over here? 6.5% grown. The cool thing is, is that we do grow year round, which is fine. Um, let's put another zone area down. We're going to need some, uh, some medicine eventually. So let's kind of put, let's see, kind of grab this kind of weird area over here. I may bring down some of that. Uh, we're going to put, we're going to put, oh, we can't even make heal root yet, I don't think. Yeah, we don't have anyone with that kind of skill yet. Um, so actually the only real thing that we can make that's any good right now is corn. Hmm. All right. Well, that's fine. Um, that's fine. We'll put, we'll put the corn like way down here as well. And do we have any more growing areas when we start expanding so I can make stuff beyond corn? Got a little area over here with some soil. Eh, that's not too bad. We can probably put some medicine up there if we need to. Yeah, Iris. All that corn, baby. Get it all going. Get it all freaking going. Architect, let's chop down some more trees if we can. Pretty sure we can. I think there's at least a few more trees. Uh, let's see. That's not a full-grown plant. Um, do we have any more trees? Uh, yeah, we do. We've got a few more. But definitely want those trees going, though. Oh, a mad animal. Hold on. What do we got going on here? A local iguana has gone mad. Oh, boy. Um. Crap. There we go. Yes! Iguana down. Give me your meat. <laughs> um, all right. Back to harvesting the cactus. We should probably put down a butcher table as well. This is going to be like our research area. I'm just going to keep expanding from this area. Uh, let's see, production, we're gonna want a butchering table, we want this right on this side, uh, we don't want it out of wood, we'll make it out of steel for right now. Oh, we have, we need a little bit of wood to make this apparently, alright. Well, that's fine. Um, I wonder if we can, now that we're starting to get, like, blocks, I wonder if we can start making these tables out of blocks yet. Because sometimes you can make them out of blocks. No, nothing. All right. Making the rest of the chairs there. Start, starting to get there. A little bit more wood coming in here and there just to make some beds and such. Uh, let's see if there's any more wood we can grab. Man, I've, I have like completely harvested this entire place out just about. I think that's almost legitimately it. Got a couple more. There we go. We got a couple more over here and a couple more over there. So, get the rest of that wood, man. And plant that damn corn. We need it. Minor risk break. Chimp. All right, we'll deal with that in a little bit. Get rid of this visitor's crap. Um, I think that chimp is going to... Let's set the owner. Um, put chimp over here. Make sure that he gets a bed. Nurse, nobody. Nobody's taken this yet, huh? All right. That's fine. 
Got only a couple more beds left to make. And then we can make the table. People will have a place to eat at, which is going to be very, very helpful. And I think everyone's just like carrying a bunch of wood right now as well. Oh, major, wisp, major risk break chimp because he is still uh, working on, on the damn the damn rocks. I don't want you doing that anymore, man. Go to sleep. There we go. All right, now Chimp's going to start feeling much better. Let's go over to his needs area. Uh, he's at 20%, so that's not great. He's getting rebuffed a lot, too. Man, the women hate this guy. Holy crap. Yes. Run. Get the rest of those damn trees. Oh, more survival meals. Hold on, guys. We need to grab these. Uh, let's see here. What are you doing? You're consuming a meal. When you're done consuming a meal, why don't you go ahead and haul this? There we are. And one last bed to go. Good thing, too. We only have four meals left. Oh, Jesus. Four meals, and let me think here. We may even have to make a nutrient paste dispenser. Because the food problem is going to be... Oh, we have some wood just laying over here. I'm an idiot. Look at this. There's just wood just laying around. And people are, like, going crazy trying to find it. There we go. Yes, finish off that table. Nice. Excellent. We have beds for everyone. And we have a craptastic table. It is poor. And we've got even more crafts that have fallen down. Steel butchering table gonna butcher forever so uh, let's butcher creature we're gonna do this forever and I think we have at least a couple of cooks yeah we do have some cooks where's that iguana at there a dead iguana still over here somewhere wasn't there then we shoot one down I'm not 100% sure where it is um, I'm not gonna worry about that right now let's continue to build some things we need to get some power going so let's grab some solar generation. That's what we'll do kind of in the beginning here. Uh, solar generator stuff. We'll build these over here, I guess. We'll build two to start with. Man, we have a lot of components. Um, so let's get that done. Chimp, what are you doing? Oh, you're butchering. Good. Yes, you found, you found our little guy then. All right, sweet. So things are going okay. Um, like I said, this is this is the very very beginning of everything that we're doing here Unfortunately, like I don't really think that the butchering is gonna do much of anything because we don't have a place. Well, hold on We can um What are we researching right now microelectronics if I remember correctly? Uh, yeah, we are Until but well, once we get this done, let's get these done and then we can build ourselves a little bit of a cooler So let's do that right now Let's go over to architect we can go to um, structure here, and I think we can start making some different walls. What do we have? We have a little bit of sandstone, so let's go make some stand some sandstone walls, and we can make like a really tiny little fridge. Like, well, I don't want I don't want it looking like that. Hold on, we're gonna make this super tiny right now, just so that we can get like a really small fridge going. Do it like there. And then we'll do it like there. Like literally, that is it. Like that's how big this is going to be. And we'll do a limestone door like right there. And we're going to put a cooler out here as well. Let's go and throw down some temperatures. Put a cooler out here. We're going to want it facing out this way. Um, how do I want to build this? I think I'm going to build out or down. I'm probably going to make this an open hallway then if we're going to put this here. Um, yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll put that there for right now. Wanderer joins. Oh, we've got a wanderer. Just a random naked guy. LeBlanc. Hi. Uh, the only issue is, is that are you a jerk or are you not a jerk? You're an optimist and you have an annoying voice. Holy crap, though. Wow. This guy is like a melee god. Oh, he's also really good at construction. Ooh. He's good at construction, but he can't craft or do research. But and he's an optimist. Um, all right, we're gonna see if you can hang with the with the psychos. We'll we'll check it out. Uh, but that's gonna be it for now, guys. I'm gonna get some of this set up. Get ourselves a place where we can store some meat. Until the next time, folks. Stay foxy and much love.